Welcome to Profiles in Eccentricity, a show about weirdos, with your hosts, John Fahey, Aaron Peter, and Matt Brousseau. Hello folks, welcome to Profiles in Eccentricity, it's a show about weirdos, doggone it. My name is John Fahey. Joining me, as always, the prettiest boy under the sun, Aaron Joseph Pita. How are you, Aaron? I'm great. I'm feeling pretty. I'm feeling under the sun. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Not under the weather. The sun gives you your powers. It does. Mm. Yeah. The radiation from the Earth's yellow sun mm. imbues me with a supernatural prettiness. And a glow. You got a glow to you. Thanks. Uh-huh. And speaking of supernatural... Matt Brousseau. <laughs> yeah, he's a wraith. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you mean this is the fucking ghost we've been doing this well, show? You're, you're you're above you're above natural. You're a, you're an uber oh, natural uh, oh. person. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Superior. Yeah. Ooh, almost. Yeah, 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 almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get into Yikes. some weird politics. Yeah, I wanted to yeah, I wanted to get some eugenic <laughs> shit in there. Superman, supernatural, <laughs> Ubermensch. Very good. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Very good. Hey John. Uh yeah, when I was I used to when I would be playing pool with my buddy Nev, I started doing this thing where after I like I I potted a ball, I would be like excellence, commitment to a craft, <laughs> execution of a plan, you know, and then like and dedication exactly, and then he started going together with it. <laughs> he started he started going he started going genetics, <laughs> breeding, <laughs> purity. <laughs> Together, through genetic purity, we can fuck <laughs> these kids in the butt. <laughs> um, we got to do a show sometime where we just revisit all the characters that we invented. Uh, uh, animal, oh, insect, lawyer, dude. dude Viet- Vietnam vet uh, bartender. Uh, yeah, Vietnam vet that. bartender is... <laughs> <laughs> you want a hurricane? <laughs> See the hurricane? It was a monsoon in Quezon. Boy, was it, it was coming down. Do you want a Mai Tai? <laughs> yeah. A lot of our boys didn't come back that day. Oh, what is back is Tuesday night karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> Drink specials. Uh, uh, we should do that on Blink and Review, maybe. Yeah, Some yeah, of those yeah, guys. We'll do, yeah, we'll do yeah. that. That's good. It'll be fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, it is. Uh, this this episode is coming on Halloween. This is dropping on Halloween. Oh, yeah. Spooky episode. It is a spooky episode. It is a spooky episode. Uh, I just want to say before I go into the profile, which is spookily themed. Yay. Uh, that, uh, guys, if you love the show, um, I'm only asking if you love the show. Mm-hmm. Only, only if you if, only. you, if you love if it. If you really love us. Mm. If you really love it. If you like it, move along and, you know, <laughs> listen and be a fucking freeloader. Uh, but if you love the show, absolutely the best thing you can do is tell people about it. Tell mm-hmm. people to listen yes. to it. Um, it'll, it'll give us growth. Uh, I was just, like, in a bookstore today, just looking at biography session, like, the whole biography session, I was just like, oh, fuck, I should get this and this, mm-hmm. and I, like, I was just like, fuck, if I, if the show was, like, more self-sustaining, I could just fucking read about creeps all day, and have, <laughs> have such an arsenal, instead of us doing it after work at night, when we can finally get a minute, so, yeah. uh, please subscribe to the Patreon, and please tell your friends about the show. Yes. There's definitely gonna be an episode they like, about some of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you can't find something that you like uh, out of the catalog, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, we would love for this to be our job job. Yes, yes absolutely. Uh, and, and last week we took off because we were working on an advertisement that hopefully will get us closer to that place, um, mm-hmm. which I'm very excited about. I've been mm-hmm. excited about the ad all week because the ad can reach hundreds of thousands yeah, hundreds of, of thousands. people. Maybe. Yeah. Advertising. Yes. <laughs> Commercial <laughs> Is marketing, marketing. <laughs> reach, <laughs> impressions, branding, influencing, <laughs> opinion. Um, before uh, on the show, I think it was episode six. Mm. I told you about one Carl Panzram. Yes, yeah, Carl mm. Panzram. Carl the, Panzram, the uh, serial murderer and sodomite. Yes, yes, uh, yeah, big time <laughs> sodomite. He didn't. He didn't even know how many people he sodomized. Isn't that? He, how, I mean, we, how many times you got to sodomize somebody to lose count? I mean, after ten, it's like what, what, yeah. yeah, I guess they all start to look the same. <laughs> well, it's from the ass, yeah, ass yeah. first. You know, I, me personally, I never forget an ass. No, yeah, that's, yeah, nice. yeah. that's really nice. Each one's like a snow flake with its own unique <laughs> print. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. You're right. You're right. The stamp. 
Yes, the, right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. the cat's always showing you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. In some weird alternate universe, they they make you take a butthole print to well, cash a check. <laughs> so, sometimes <laughs> yeah. there's like a little tailbone sticking out. You know, isn't that weird? Yeah, well, it's fun. Isn't that abnormal? Is that weird? It's. <laughs> uh, I don't find it weird. No, a tailbone? no. I accept it all. Absolutely. Like, honestly, if there was a tail. Try, try, it out. try it out. I would try it out. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Grab a hold of that. It's thing. it's not gay if you get penetrated by a girl's tail. Not at all. It's a girl's tail. And if it is gay, that's okay too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it. I don't care if the tail has some balls either. <laughs> this tail's got Fuck balls. It. So what if I'm getting railed by this chick's butt clit? <laughs> <laughs> so what? Who cares? <laughs> I uh, it, well, <laughs> along along the lines of uh, a bet. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. um, there's another man with a very a strikingly similar name that I want to tell you about who has a, a, a pretty harrowing uh, tail. But, uh, oh, he's oh, got a harrowing oh. tail? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah it's, is it a butt clit? Yeah, he's got a harrowing butt clit. Um, he's, there's, a, there's a lot more nutting in this story. Not in oh, a, hell oh. yeah. Not in a rapey, uh, not a sodomite one. way, but oh, okay. in another terrible sort of... It, does that count as rape way? Mm. Um... And like Carl Panzram, this gentleman, uh, his name was Carl Tanzler. Ah, he had uh, several aliases. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And he went. By, he, I think his his birth name was George Carl Tanzler, and he went by Carl Tanzler von Kosel, <laughs> and even uh, sometimes Count Carl Tanzler von Kosel. He was born in 1877 in Dresden, and he grew up there. And he moved to Australia. He became um, interested in like engineering and electrical stuff, and um, he uh, he he bought. Property while while he was there and and boats an organ um, he bought he done he, he bought an organ like the musical instrument right, the musical right, instrument right, right. the organ like and some various kidneys even a, no. even an island in the Pacific oh you got to have that and he was there for about ten years and World War One uh, breaks out and the Brits in Australia uh, put him in a camp for safekeeping right what because he's German oh uh, yeah oh okay yeah yeah, yeah. got it got so it. it's kind of like a you know but. It's one of those weird things where, like, you hear about Japanese internment camps, but you think about like, uh, like all around the world. Well, Australia is an internment camp. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, but he was, you know, he was living it up there for about ten years like and three thousand miles of coastline. <laughs> yeah. And he uh, he came back uh, to find his mother, who he hadn't heard from since the outbreak of the war, and then she encouraged him to join his sister in Florida because after the war it was a fucking mess. He stayed with his mother for like three years. Uh huh. And um, he had he had married um. This uh, woman named Doris Schaefer. He had two children with her. One is Clarista. Uh, the older one is Aisha. Is the only way I can think hmm. how to pronounce the name. Oh. Yeah. And uh, so he's he's got them. And, and this is this is post World War Two now. Post World War Two. He's moving to Florida. And so he's like fifty something at this point. Yeah, nineteen seventy seven. So uh-huh. nineteen twenty six is when he moves to Florida. And he's he's already got the family established. They're born in uh, the children are born in twenty two and twenty four respectively. Okay. Uh, and. They hang back for a minute. He comes out to meet his sister in, uh, he moves to Zephyr Hills, oh. town in Florida, which is... Sounds trashy. Yeah, there's a there's a bottled water named after it. Oh, it's the Poland Springs yeah. of Florida. Yeah, yeah. But he's, he's been trained as a doctor, and he, uh, he when he was in uh, Genoa in Italy, and in, throughout his childhood in Germany, he had visions of an ancestor coming and telling him, about this dark-haired beauty that he would fall in love with. Oh, uh, you know how much I love prophecies uh-huh. that specifically describe the hair of a beauty that will come into your life. Yes. Mm. Uh, mm, that this, sounds this ancestor yeah. was Countess Anna Constantina von Kosel. And uh, she, yeah, she was like, your, yeah. your true love is this, uh, this dark-haired. Well, he was a count, so he's beauty. Yeah. naturally a countess. Is perfect. You can count. On her entering your life in the near future. <laughs> yeah, so he, uh, he he leaves the family behind in Zephyr Hills, right? So that's like mainland Florida. He goes all the way down to Key West and starts working at the Marine Hospital. A uh, woman brings her daughter in uh, for a checkup. And this is Maria Hoyos. And she is a Cuban-American. Uh, described by everybody as a, a raving beauty. She's a Cuban. She's an American. She's born. Yeah, yeah. To Cuban parents. Got it. And uh, she. Everybody in her family has TB. Everybody's got tuberculosis. And she's coming down with it. Oh. And he recognizes this woman as 
the one his ancestor was showing him, the dark haired. How old is she at this point? She is. Let me fucking see. Here. Old enough. Is that <laughs> what you're gonna say? It's Florida law. Well, I mean, he's fifty something. Yeah, and she's <laughs> she's young, and and uh, he's obsessed with her. He becomes completely obsessed with her. Um, he he's treating her like in every way he can. He's using the most up, you know, like updated technology, trying everything in the world. And he starts showering her with jewelry and clothing and even confesses his love for her to her. And there's no evidence anywhere that she ever reciprocated at all because she's married to a dude. She got married like the year before. Okay. She got married like in uh, 1926 to this guy, uh, Louis uh, Mesa. Not, and, not a count. No, no, no. And uh, she, so... <laughs> Her her family is like, oh, this is great. You know, this doctor is is spending so much time just lavishing her with with uh, you know. I mean, it's like it's like one of those things where you're like, all right, it's cool that you're in love with me. I'm married to this other guy, but I have TB really bad. So you're a doctor. Hey, could you cut down on the amethyst and up the antibiotics? Hey, yeah. Right. It's kind of like, I mean, I don't really want to disappoint you because my life is in your hands. Her life is in your hands, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so, also very convenient that if you have a prophecy of a woman coming into your life and you're a doctor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, because if he fixes her, then she doesn't have to come back. <laughs> you know, there's that, yeah. Yeah, So, but she's no recip all the way. No recip? No recip, no, just dude. the TB. Yeah, she's just, I mean, she's like, oh, well, I'm busy right now. You're loving me. TB. That's cool. I've, I've got TB really bad. And everybody in her family is dying from it. Like, not the parents. Consumption. But like, you know, there's there's uh, 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 ants and a, a ton of people in the family have TB really bad, and they're all dying. They're oh, all dying. Dinner's got to be tough at that house. And he he moves he moves shit to her house. He moves like you know uh, medical what? equipment there to the Hoyos house. The the father was a cigar maker, oh. and he's uh, he's going there all the time, just you know trying to make her as comfortable as possible. And you know, like he's dying of TB, and mm. he's showing up with jewelry. You know? I mean, what is it? What is, it, what is it, like 1920s? What's the best? No, this is post World War Two now. No, no, no. no. Post World War One. Post World War One. Post World War One. So oh, it's yeah, like yeah. late 20s. What's the best cure for TB at that point? No Just antibiotics like yet. Be, bed, no. re, bed rest in a cold like, compress? Like mercury. Uh, right. Yeah. right. Well, like x ray shit was new. He, yeah. was, he was throwing all that at it. He was trying to do whatever he could, but he still couldn't save her. So she dies on October 25th, 1931. Oh. And Tanzler pays for the funeral. He pays for an above ground mausoleum in Key West. Whoa. And uh, the family, you know, is, like, grateful. So, like, as as she's dying, the mother is, like, collecting her hair and then gifts him the hair oh. uh, upon her death. And because uh, I guess that... Like, because it's all falling out and shit? Yeah, yeah. And... Um, <laughs> we gotta save this for later. Yeah, we gotta save this for the doctor that's taking... Yeah. She's not... <laughs> she died. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah. And also, he's a fucking creep. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking Here's about? Here's your dead patient's hair. You know, well, no, I, you, I guess she you. knows the audience. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. sure that they understood on some level, like, maybe he's a wacko and he's on, in love right, with our daughter, right. but he's still going above and beyond. Yeah. So here's this thing, because, I mean, I'm assuming that it was clearly obvious that he was, like, obsessed. Yes. You know? And they didn't have fruit baskets back then either, so right. you gotta get Meanwhile, his wife and kids are back in Zephyr Hills. <laughs> Is he gonna come back with all the hair? <laughs> you know what I mean? So he's just down there living this insane existence, and, um... He goes to the he goes to the above ground mausoleum every night, Uh-oh. and he's he's serenading her with like this Spanish song, and he says that her spirit is is coming to him, and mm. uh, whenever he would <laughs> sing, and uh, is this where the nutting happens? <laughs> I yeah, we're, we're building. Yeah, uh-huh. so um, he, yeah, he goes there every night, and 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 he's singing to her, and he's you know talking to her because obviously his her spirit comes and talks to him. Of course, he, yeah, yeah. she was never interested. Well, well, but uh, uh, why else would you build a mausoleum? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want I a mean, nice quiet place you can have a chat. <laughs> yeah, you know, she died before Halloween, so he was feeling spooky or whatever. <laughs> but this goes on and on and on until you know um, she's been begging him. The spirit has been begging him to to get her out of there, get her out of, of the course. mausoleum. Ah, so, spirit. so he uh, April thirty three. He takes her body out. Oh, and. Uh, he takes it out on um this is this part is not creepy at all. He takes it out on a toy wagon. <laughs> <laughs> like a red red wagon? Yeah, like a like radio, a radio flyer. Flyer. <laughs> He takes the body like those wheels. You're a medical oh. professional. 
And you've got a no, fucking radio flyer. Couldn't toy get a wagon. gurney. He's, yeah. not, he's, he's not a mover. He's a doctor. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This wagon should do. Yeah. I'm a count. Think about, <laughs> think count. about the size of a toy wagon and an adult corpse woman. Yeah, well, they were smaller back then. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, she shrunk with the TV. She could yeah, fit yeah. right in a wagon. And um, so he gets her back to the house. His house. His house okay. in, in Key West, not 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 not, 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 not the West. family home. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, okay. he, he lives yeah. there because you know that's that's like right. the, the big hospital. It's uh, the Marine Hospital in, in Key West, and he starts putting her bones back together with uh, coat hangers and wire. Uh, of no, course. yeah. Well, Aaron, I mean, it was the 1930s. You know, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. They didn't have carbon fiber or <laughs> graphene or anything. What yeah, else I mean, need? this is also a guy that you know. He, he I mean, he's fairly. He's pretty handy. He was a tinkerer. Yeah. Like, like when, when he was in when he was in in the in the concentration camp, um, he was with a guy that was one of the first German men that converted to Buddhism, oh, God. and uh, they were like they were like building a boat together to escape the German concentration camp. And you know, like I said, like when he was in Australia, he did all this shit with electrical and engineering and all this stuff. So he's he's a handy fella. Yeah, yeah. Like if anybody's gonna get this this gal back, uh, you know, yeah. up, up and running, yeah, it's yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, he likes so. a couple of car batteries, all those coat hangers <laughs> uh-huh. that he's got <laughs> yeah. laced through her bones like yeah, yeah. adamantium <laughs> S- stuff he learned in the concentration camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and this Buddhist monk, <laughs> a German Buddhist monk. Uh, the, the Nazis never had any other affiliation with the. Yeah. Uh, what a couple! Yeah, of, yeah, like, li- life is suffering. <laughs> you bet it is. <laughs> yeah, this fucking this this this, this, this chill out German Buddhist monk is like, yeah, I'm really into like chanting and things. I'm this like, guy's like, it's just sort of accepting that life is nothing but never-ending struggle of suffering. So yeah. it's just, the sooner you can accept that, the more like we can just get onto it and I can torture you. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My great aunt, the Countess, tells me a dark-haired beauty will come fall into my lap because she's dead. <laughs> So yeah, they fall out easier though. Yeah, so so he's he's got the wire and the coat hangers stitching all the bones back together. The, now the flesh is a problem, oh, right? Oh, so what yeah. do you think? Isn't do? it always? Uh, I mean, it's, it's two years after death that she's been brought out of the grave. Two years. Ugh. So some shit is and, fucked up. And yeah, she wasn't like embalmed or or mummified or anything. Mm. She's just falling apart. Right, but he is. He's bringing in like preserving agents. Uh, uh, dousing her in perfume because you can imagine yeah, she probably smells like shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or worse. You know what, what was her name? Maria. Maria Hoyos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Maria. <laughs> you can't even do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Maria. Your, you your pussy like is a nightmare. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so. So, you know, the flesh is, the skin is a problem, right? So, <laughs> so he's, what he's doing there? What he's, he's found is the flesh to be a problem. Yeah, so found, we, just, we just get rid of it. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so now basically she's just, a, she's just a set of teeth on some coat hangers. <laughs> I've got all her hair though. It's, <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, the hair makes such a big difference. <laughs> Dude, if you see it, when you see a picture of Maria, bro. Oh. Did post-mortem or? Oh, oh after, no! After he 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 done her up. There's a picture of it, dude. Hold on, I, I want to show it to you after. He's a, he's a doctor because. Oh. <laughs> and and now he, he's still decking around all the jewelry and then the nice clothes and everything, you know, because you know she's still a queen. I don't care how yeah. dead she is, you know. Yeah. Well, he took the X-rays. He must have known what she was gonna look like, right? Yeah. yeah. So now all that shit inside, you know, the guts, etc., yeah. is, is is falling apart, and mm. uh, you know you, you can't have that. No. no. So you got to stuff rags in there. Of oh, course. So there's yes, rags getting stuffed in there. And the the outer skin, the flesh, and everything, he would take um, uh, plaster, ah, and also uh, silk scarves that he would kind of like dye to look like a you know a, a, a living skin color, shall we say? Uh, it's an uh, art project. Uh, yeah. So so then you know he's drawing on like a fucking dummy face. Yeah, he drew. Well, he, she's sad today. I better draw a frown on her. Yeah. So so and you know he's he's. he's <laughs> He's doing his best to make it look pretty. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, he's really, he's really, really, really <laughs> trying. This is the worst weekend at Bernie's yeah. spinoff. Dude. He's becoming a professional marionette. Dude, it's such a fucking nightmare. So it's perfume, jewels, rags in the guts, plaster on the face, <laughs> can't coat wait. hangers in the bones. <laughs> oh, man. I can't. I can't uh, yeah. Keep mm-hmm. going, you please. know. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. This is so fucked up. I love it. This yeah. so good. And, and, and she's in the bed. Of course, that's where right. you get fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's in the bed. She's waiting. 
And uh, she's been waiting two years for this. And the sister, get me out of here so you can fuck me, Carl. <laughs> yeah, the rape well, is saying, that's Maria. <laughs> Are face? you sure? <laughs> oh, I <if you> insist. <laughs> yeah. So around around the time, this is this is like one of the ambiguities of of the story that I absolutely love because they just drop it and you're like. What? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They just, in one sentence, it's like, no, 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 I got way more questions. Yeah. And it was like, around 1940, her sister, Maria's sister, uh, Florinda, hears rumors that he is sleeping with the body of her sister. What, what rumors? Yeah, how do those get out? How, how do those get out? Is he talking about it? He, and he where, did you, where did you hear it from? Yeah. Like, and, and... That, you know what yeah. I mean? What? Like, what, what, you heard it through the grapevine? Yeah, what the grapevine? Who, who's the, he telling? Like, who's, do, you th- do you think that... Do you think um, he's going to the bar and being like, yeah, you know, I took this girl home. And, uh, <laughs> oh, you, you want to see a picture of my baby? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't fucking know. But, but so, they hear rumors, and, uh, the, the, you know, it, it's, it's, it gets investigated. People, you know, Maria, people are talking. <laughs> um, people are saying things. Wrong, They're trying wrong. to take you away from have, me. Have you been sharing a secret? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Her, her, her spirit was yeah, telling other slats. people. Well, yeah, she does talk. We know she talks from the afterlife. Yeah, so right. maybe it was her. Maybe it was her. her maybe the rumors uh, were her being, you know, just starting shit among the right. family. Spirit is her rumor. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's um, <laughs> she she hears rumors of Tanzler sleeping with the, the the body, and she goes to his house, where she basically like bullies her way in and finds her sister. Oh, covered in spunk. <laughs> well, plaster. <laughs> yeah, that's what he called so it. So she she goes to the cops, and he gets arrested. He gets a like a thorough psychiatric examination, which he totally passes. Of course, no, he's you know? just German. And yeah, <laughs> he's like, yeah, it's perfectly normal. I don't yeah, understand what the big well, deal is. She was talking to me, and so I dug her out, and I wanted to have sex with her, so I. I, I, I put her back together again so I could, you know, break her off a piece of the shit dick. <laughs> I'm sorry, officer. Show me where I'm wrong. Here. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with me? I'm just trying to beat the pussy up. I I'm a doctor. She's my fraulein. So, so he he gets arrested and um he, he goes through the whole uh, like rigorous examination of his mind. Yeah. Because duh. Mm-hmm. And he he's found totally competent to stand trial. And the charge is wantonly and maliciously destroying a grave and removing a body without authorization. Yes. Which. It's correct. I, I mean, it's 100% correct. But also, like, can you imagine hearing those words said about you and totally knowing it's true? Yeah. Well, well, but, well, I mean, imagine that. Just being like. He's like, I regret <laughs> that. It was not wanton disregard. Yeah, I was very meticulous about the way I dug did, up he my. Did, he didn't think malicious. He was yeah. like, I, this was incredibly kind of me. Oh, yeah. I'm no, sorry, is... officer. Did you say delicious? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Then, yes. Did, then you, yes. did, you, did, you, did you say delicious wonton? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> she was Cuban. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so he, he, um, <laughs> delicious wonton. <laughs> so, he goes to, he goes to the, the hearing at the, the Monroe County Courthouse in Key West, and now this is, you know, full public knowledge of, of what this maniac's been up to. No longer rumor. And it's, it's, it's uh, you know, 1940, so you know what's going on in the world, but mm, yeah. you know that this is still, especially in Key West, imagine. What a like what a tiny little community yeah. of fucking, you know, parrot head fucking, you know, yeah, people of Margaritaville yeah, yeah. fucking people, and then just being like, oh yeah, the doctor... Well, they were all swingers. They're, I mean, they're, this is a big swing community out there in Key West. Yeah, maybe, mm. maybe I don't even know how long it's been, but maybe this guy kicked it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as they're not dead. You know, Madge, I thought we were free. <laughs> that, do- that doctor down the road, he, he's swapping his wife. Treat me like a dead wife. <laughs> so he, w- he was basically brought, you know, uh, to bear, like, you know, for, like, answer to the charges. And this again, who who passes these laws? What? Yeah. They found that the statute of limitations for the crime had expired. Oh, they are. Huh. It's like, yeah, but. Yeah, who said that? I mean. But she's there. It's right there. Yeah. I mean, the crime is ongoing. Yeah. <laughs> like, science has like, failed. It's, it's, it's not as, it's not as science if, has failed. Yeah. It's not as if he brought her back. Yeah. yeah. He, he had her last night. No, like, yeah. What are you talking about? Well, in, in the six months he was in court, that's the window they had. Oh, yeah. Right. And, and who, who made the law? It's like. Listen, if you steal a body after two years, we don't give a fuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? As long as it's full of rags. 
So, <laughs> so the um. Her, yeah. <laughs> so this. The, <laughs> what? What? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't use an erector set, did you? <laughs> oh, it's the coat hangers. <laughs> okay, all right, well, that's fine. Oh, people, people got people. It's part of our recycling <laughs> initiative is. Uh, <laughs> You think everybody got into it on like a like a redneck carpenter level? Yeah. yeah. Well, how'd you no. keep her together? Would you use galvanized steel or was it stainless? You know, you don't want to use stainless. You, you want to have something with a good uh, machine to it. Did you electric? Did it rust? <laughs> so after. Well, I mean, God damn if the doctor didn't figure out a new way of putting together steel. <laughs> if it's full of cum, it doesn't rust. <laughs> this is, this is I've one been of these... coming in my gas tank for years ever since. I swear to God, it runs better. I swear to God. You gotta get the swimmers to push the gas through the engine. Yeah. Yeah, top it off for me. <laughs> yeah, I put my flashlight right there in the old vapor lock area. So, I mean, yeah, it just sits there just fine. <laughs> flashlight, no back. <laughs> so, so after, after, after being like, all right, well, we got the body back and this guy's not going to jail for some reason. <laughs> I mean, I think probably part of it too is that, well, well, I mean, number one, it's 1940, and you're a German, mm-hmm. and you just fucked a dead body in Florida. Like these <laughs> these guys, when you put it there, these, yeah, these guys, these guys should be coming after you, bro. Yeah, but Florida is kind of like the weird Germany of the U.S., and the, there's yes. just a lot of weird fucked up stuff that goes on. Yeah, yeah, and I'm I'm sure Key West is probably just its own world anyway. Yeah, but I mean, I think probably the status of um, uh, him being a white man yeah. and them yeah. being Cubans. Uh, and him being a doctor. And him being a doctor, a little bit high society. And, you yeah. know, he also has a family, which God knows what they're saying and thinking. Because um, now this is, like but I said. But he is a German, and they do they do have a, you know, um, a target on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and so it's just amazing to me that he, he really wasn't fucked with that bad by the authorities. And I think everybody's just so taken with the case. Yeah. And uh, they take her body, have her examined by pathologists and physicians. And then she's put on public display at a funeral home. That doesn't. But as like a, <laughs> like as a sex doll? That doesn't. As a fucking robot sex doll? I think they were just like, everybody needs to Come see. check this out. <laughs> oh, we You're see. not going to. I mean, but honestly. She, she smells like Coco Chanel and cum. But honestly, I, th- I think it was almost one of those things where it's like, if we say this happened and we say that he made a, a dummy face mm. on plaster on a dead body, nobody will believe us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to kind of wheel it out. But also, it's just like, can you fucking believe? Can you fucking believe? And everybody, God. come look, come look, come here, dude, 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 come you here, gotta come here, it. you gotta see it. Sixty-eight hundred people go see the body. Sixty-eight hundred. Wait, that's Key West, all of Key West. Yeah, that's like... yeah, yeah. Everybody goes through fucking cock rings, yeah. <laughs> nipple clams, and mesh tank tops all night. Everybody's rollerblading through. They're yeah. like, <laughs> led, <laughs> led, led by yeah, chain, move, chain move. to chain nipple <laughs> rings. <laughs> so, move on. <laughs> Happy that, hour. That's the initi- that's, that was the first uh, Key West fest. What's that fucking party they have at Key West? Where like, oh, fantasy? It's, no, no. It's like the it's the one where like it's you know big, big, big shirtless run. Yeah, it's like big titted white women and their their husbands walking you know, around it, Key West it, with their shirts off. Yeah, you know oh, okay. they have that thing in Key West where it's the drag race where it's people in drag ra- foot racing. Great, that's awesome. I like that's that a lot. Good. That's very very good shit. Man, that lady's fast. <laughs> so they, man, that lady's dead. They're like, uh, they, they, they return her to the cemetery, but they have to put her in a fucking unmarked grave, so he doesn't uh, yeah, go back yeah, and yeah. dig her up again. Of course. So now, imagine you're the family, and you're like, <laughs> well, we got, we got her sister back after years of being plowed uh-huh. and totally re- recreated, like fucking, like a fucking RoboCop fuck doll. <laughs> yeah. Did they take the rags out? I don't know, man. I she kind of looks good with the rags. And uh, so she really I mean, filled out. <laughs> imagine like you 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 have to get a campaign to get your sister back, you know. And um, you can't put her back in the above ground. He owns that. You know yeah, what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah, paid yeah. for it. Can't put her back there. No way. I guess if you had a metal detector or a spunk detector, if you should go over. There she is. Coat hangers found him. Why do you think I put them in there? So I could find her later. He's just x-raying each grave. Yeah. So the, the, the papers, the Key West Citizen and the Miami Herald, uh, are all over it. Uh, they're, they're just in love with it. But the public's main takeaway is that he's just an eccentric romantic. <sighs> Finally, they have a clear idea of love. I mean, but seriously, like, they, um, they're, 
yeah, they're they're like, and it's 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 celebrated in in a Spanish song, in, in like in popular culture. What's the song? Uh, it's called um, Black Wedding. Oh. And they and they talk about this this like everybody everybody all these bands write songs about it like and you will know, know us by the trail of dead uh, they wrote a song about it um, nice day for a black wedding there's a uh, uh, sleep station wrote a song about it there's um, there's tons and tons and tons of band uh, black dahlia murder uh, released a song about it everybody feels like it's like this dark. Corpse right. bride romance, right, right, fucking but it, case. But really, it's that's like white privilege. Yeah, dude, yeah. To, to oh the, yeah, the KKK yeah. wasn't on his case. Yeah, if this was a Mexican guy or a black guy during that time, mm-hmm. or now, oh, or now, forget, no, I mean, it's yeah. not going to be like, oh, he's a doctor. No, he, he's just a doctor in love. No, right. Um, he, he's with a married woman. So after well, he's married, after he, I mean, like you know, he's not going back to, uh, you know, he's, he's not going to prison at all. So he goes in forty four. He moves back to. Uh, Pasco County, which is near Zephyr Hills, where his family is, mm-hmm. and has been throughout this entire ordeal. Do they know what's been going on? Hell yeah, dude! That Hell is yeah! <laughs> so he 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 writes an autobiography. Oh god! That appears in the Pope publication Fantastic Adventures. <laughs> and, what an uh, adventure he had! And his, his home was near his wife Doris, still not living with her. Mm. And uh, she she was supported him in later years. Totally uh, stood by her man, uh, inconceivably. I just hey. hope that when I die, he does the same for me. <laughs> in 1950, uh, he got his United States citizenship. They let him become a citizen. Yeah, you know, upstanding guy. He he never went spending time in, in jail. In 1950, did they Operation Paperclip his work into the bionic <laughs> like six million dollar man? Think about it. 1950, <laughs> after the war, yeah. the German corpse yeah. fucker gets citizenship. Yeah, it's huh? an out- outreach program, like. We need his technology. Yeah. So we're bringing all the best. We got to go to the moon. So, I mean, do you think that his obsession went away? I uh, sincerely doubt it. What? So <sighs> he, he he makes a uh, he uses the death mask of oh of no Boyos to make a life size effigy of her. How did he get the? Did he just have one and, in the closet? They didn't search in. I mean, uh, this guy. He's, I'm assuming he's crafty. He, yeah, he was, but he's, he also, he's a tinker. He would have poured over every part of her and probably made several sure. body oh, death sure. masks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Brilliant. I mean, he could know, hire Andy Circus to mocap. <laughs> like, he's obsessed, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's the future of VR. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, Andy, I need you to like make this bend over, come his uh, stare. Uh-huh. Yeah. Or it's great. <laughs> come his uh. Come his uh? So, um, he, he died, he died two years after that. But he's got a 3D, he's got a mo- he who stays in his bed until his death in 1952. Well, yeah, they're not getting up. Stays in, stays He, he, him. he's got a, he na- makes another one of her. Does he feed it soup? Yeah. Yeah, he makes another one of her, and, um, he probably had her real gussied up, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he learned lessons from the first one. Yeah, and, uh. Also, don't let it. Get rumors out. Yeah, Don't let yeah. it talk. So it's mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I think at this point people are 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 just like, yeah, that's his thing. You know, he's just into that whole Maria thing. Oh my god! And you know his 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 wife his wife lives until 1977. Can you imagine being the widow of the guy that mm-hmm. fucked the woman who didn't want him and died, and he kept. Bringing her back. Yeah, and well, so... Well, you know, it's tough to pick up another guy after that, I'm guessing. So people were saying that he died in the arms of the of the Hoyos effigy upon discovery of, of his body, but the, his obituary said that he died on the floor behind one of his organs. Also, this guy playing the organ cannot be... Yes, he's a good... <laughs> What's that, Maria? <laughs> like, could you pick a better instrument yeah. to have several of in the house? Uh, you know, is you know he had. This a... is a scene, <laughs> dude. I know. Like... What, what was his song that he would play? Because his neighbors would probably hear the one like... they wrote about. Oh him. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they wrote this song about me for my love for you. Right, exactly. <laughs> his neighbors just hear that song. And they're like, oh, he's doing it again. Get the kids in. Get the kids in the house. Tansler. Yeah, and um, basically, some people have theorized that uh, he had he had. Uh, the body secretly returned to him, uh, that things could have been switched around and sure. and he would have done some kind of like basically bribery maneuvers to get the body back. But it's never been officially yeah. you know, proven. But 
Um, that is so gross. <laughs> yeah. The um. So though it's not completely. Yeah. yeah, yeah bring it. Bring it. <laughs> complete, I don't care if it's true. It's true enough. Completely proven. Um. Some people said that it, they revealed evidence of his necrophilia with Hoyos's corpse. Um. Two physicians. One named Doctor Depu. <laughs> Shut up. P O O. Oh, really? It's, yeah. it's French for of poo. De poo. <laughs> yeah, from the of, poo region of, of France. Yeah, <laughs> doctor <laughs> de poo. Be like, that's my doctor? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> and uh, so they went, to, they went to the 1940 autopsy of Hoyos, and uh, they said in 1972, years later, that a paper tube had been inserted in the vaginal area. Uh, 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 a vaginal area, like, so there was a, there's a paper tube in there that basically would, would uh, act as... Uh, you know, it would, it would, uh, flashlight keep yeah. it from, well, no, it's what he was fucking inside of her. It was a paper tube. Yeah. It was a paper tube. Yeah. So he wasn't raw dogging his own dead. Well, I think, I think the whole situation's pretty raw. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he was probably raw dogging. I don't, this guy doesn't seem like he has boundaries to me. I don't think he's going to yes, bring condoms yes. into the well, fucking he put, bedroom. But he put paper. Uh, yeah, probably because there was nothing. Come on, do you love her or not, bro? There, there was probably nothing to, uh, you stop from the walls from caving in to uh, grip down on his Johnson, mm, as they yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. Right, We're right. Kind of hitting the rags. <sighs> so there's no existing photographs of the tube or anything. Wait, wait. So let me get. I'm just trying to work this out. <laughs> All right. I know so you want to concentrate her, on the fucking. No, her initial autopsy showed a tube, or the uh, like the autopsy after she was dug they, out. They said in the initial autopsy in 1940 after that, her after his arrest. Yeah, after after they found got the body back from them that there was a paper tube in there. But so the, there was a there was like because you know, she died of tuberculosis. Yes. There was no autopsy upon her death because she died of tuberculosis. But yeah, or there's no mention of it anyway. Right. So um, there was an autopsy of the mangled <laughs> recovered recovered botched yeah, crash at, test dummy the, yes, from the Frankenstein yes. fuck corpse. Must. Right, right. Huh. So okay, got it, got it. Yeah, and then they, but these guys. It was did, a paper tube. These guys didn't say that until 1972. Yeah, I feel like he would have come up with something better. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, a paper tube. I mean, guy, yeah, he, they're really selling him shit. But you know, he fucking also took her out on a toy wagon. True, right? You know what I mean? Well, he's just playful. <laughs> <laughs> it was a first date. Yeah, like it's cute. It's cute. So it also, was... like his kids lived until like the late 90s and shit. Oh my like, God. I mean, like just imagine, that's your dad. And you live, and it was your wagon, <laughs> probably. <laughs> who, do you, who do you leave the wagon to? Probably, and like you're just like, fuck, man, what? Who was that guy? Yeah, well, he was never around. He was never around, yeah. and then yeah, even even when he's around, he lives in another house over there with the fucking effigy. Yeah, man, he smells like shit and perfume. Yeah, yeah. Wait, but uh, so can we? Do you have a picture of this? Uh... Yeah. Oh my god, folks. When when this will go up on the died, Instagram. Did yeah. they find another body in his house? No, they found they found the effigy. Oh, and the effigy, what okay. was it made of? Plaster of Paris? Uh, it was spam. It, Plaster of Paris was was uh, actually what he used um, on the uh, on the skin when when he was uh, restoring her her skin that had had Restore, rotted. Well, restoring, restoring like yeah, it's an old yeah, Mustang. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was either it was either silk scarves or Plaster of Paris. So I believe the effigy was also Plaster of Paris. Um, it's not very pleasing to the touch. No, but I think it was. Paper, I mean, paper tube either. a lot of it was. I mean, you can tell a lot of it is just about looks. Yeah, yeah, for been, him. Yeah, like I mean, <laughs> typical man. <laughs> I mean, what, what, what are you even putting clothes on her for? We we know what the game is to get her out of them. Yeah, well, he likes to he likes to work for it. <laughs> he does, he does. But this is uh, this is her. We can pass that around. Like, uh, it's uh, oh, that's after that. Well, this is yeah. This is what he what he did with her. <laughs> that's what she yeah. looked like going in. Wow. <laughs> What do you think? It looks like it looks like a like a. <laughs> Matt, I mean, it, Matt is uh, not. But think please. about it. Think about it. That's a dead body. It's pretty good for a dead body. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I mean, at that, if you're fr- <laughs> if you're fucking a dead body, you probably the best you can do. Yeah. If you're a doctor, not an artist. You're right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really uh, farm that one out. Maria for... Elena Milagro. Is there a before picture? No, no, I don't have one of, of her before. That's um, tough because that's the only way I know her now. Oh, so that's used copious amounts of uh, stockings, jewelry, and um, and perfume and disinfectants, of course. Of course, yes, yes. and and uh, preserving doctor. agents. So uh, he he did it's introduce some smuckers. some <laughs> fucking uh, yeah some chloroformy type stuff at some point to uh, slow down the the decay. Oh God! But can you imagine what it would bring in the house? 
I, I, like, what the fuck kind of bugs and rodents and... Uh, you're in Florida. Yeah. Do you think mosquitoes... Bug, yeah, yeah, mag- Do you think oh, that the mosquitoes... Mo- what the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing, it's, it's nothing but perfume in here. Uh, do you think that the mother giving him the hair... Was almost like a... Was like him going, huh. Well, you gave me the hair. Yeah. This might be it. I got one less thing I need. Well, I mean... I got, I, it's yeah. like hair bones. It was, it was basically the... proven that no matter what, his, his status saved him from any prosecution from, from the crime. Right, right. But um, what I mean is, do you think that the, like, the act of the mother giving him her hair was, him, was like gave him the idea? Um, I don't know. I think I think he would have been at the grave every day, no matter what, and probably I think he I think he would have done it anyway. It might it might have increased his his obsession. The likelihood of like well, yeah, I already have the hair. Now right. All I need is the rest of her. Right. So that hair was then used to make a wig when yeah, her when her the, well, dead that's hair. What I her. Figured. That's yeah. what I figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that that yeah, that he she was reunited with her hair. More of a thoughtful gift. Yeah, than mother. I mean, that is fucking gross, dude. Yeah, yeah, but it's just so funny to me that the societal takeaway from it is, wow, how romantic. Yeah. It's like, no, this, <laughs> this, these people want their child back yeah. in, in a grave. She was already married. I mean, like, she, not... she wasn't into him when she yeah. was alive. No, no, I just, I, I seriously, I when I read this story, I had this, I had like this visual in my head of like her just fucking gaunt in bed and him being like, I love you, and her being like. I can't fucking deal with this right now. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, death, I got, I got, I'm on, I'm on death's door. She's like, death will be the release. Yeah, finally, I'll be able to get away from this guy. <laughs> yeah, like, just, okay, fine, you love me, but you still got your eyes on the prize, right? Mm-hmm. Like, me living? <laughs> no. No, 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 you have to die so I can have you. Yeah. I mean, that is, uh, don't trust pro, I mean, who told him this prophecy? Uh, his, uh, one of his, his, uh, his, uh, ancestors, the countess. Oh, right, the count, yeah. Um, so, yeah, she would, she would come to him. In several visions in childhood, which is deeply disturbing. Yeah, it's never good. Um, while he was in Genoa, Italy, and also during his childhood in uh, Germany. Uh, and yeah, she prophesized this this dark hair beauty. And then he sees her and goes, that's the girl. Mm. Um, but it was just like, she was just a fucking beautiful brunette that everybody agreed was yeah, beautiful. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, But uh, he, he was adamant that it was like, this is the person I was, I was shown. Yeah. And... Um, I mean, he never let it go. No, it's dedication. <laughs> you know, like, uh, there's that thing uh, Bukowski says where he's like, if you wouldn't risk everything to do the thing you want to do, do you really want to do it? Right. <laughs> he, I mean, he, 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 <laughs> was, he was a romantic. <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, I don't know if he was romantic, but I mean, you know, I mean, he sang her songs and stuff, but he was definitely... Uh, Hit songs written about her. Yeah, I mean, the songs, are, the songs are really... Rags. Paper tubes. I mean, you know, a lot of people that buy gifts and stuff, but how many people rebuild their love? Yeah. It... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think it was Close, probably a lot of people that are like, shit, deep. man. Like, I mean, I guess I, I understand it getting to the point where you go, no, they're not gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? And people... She's right here. <laughs> well, yeah. Be God. And pe- people kind of like vibing with that being like, oh, that's so cool. He doesn't, he just doesn't give a fuck. He's, you know what I mean? There's no like reanimator movie about the like, uh, like I, uh, the books have been written based on it, um, uh, and uh, tons of music for some reason. Yeah, tons I feel like of the Misfits probably did some fucking song about <laughs> yeah. this. Yes, well, it's got yeah. Come and Corpses. Of course, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they love well, it. Was their, the DP, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, uh, it's 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 just it's so insane to me that he could just go back to a normal life after being publicly German. <laughs> <laughs> Doing, yeah. doing, coming back from publicly German. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, first of all, privately sperm. <laughs> <laughs> Private sperm. <laughs> well, but, but, I'll, I'll never tell. Also, uh, the, but he obviously did tell because she hears rumors. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How did they? Yeah. You know, uh, my uh, my girlfriend died, but uh, I still fuck her. Yeah, Don't you, tell anybody. It'd be the first thing I told everybody. As soon as I left that dude at the bar, I'd yeah. be like, yo, hey, is this doc? Hey, me, 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 me and my girlfriend are swingers. You want to come over and fuck her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, sh- go check her out. 
I just imagine him. Keep the lights off. He feels like a paper tube, bro. (laughs) How come she never comes out? She's sick. (laughs) She's she's not feeling well. She's got TV for 30 years. He's coming back from the hardware store with two buckets of plaster, and he stops in the bar to have a drink. And they're like, Carl, what are you doing with this plaster? Yeah. Ah, yeah, I just, uh, I was also thinking about that. I was thinking about, did the plaster plaster guy miss him? (laughs) <laughs> like, I, my best I, love, I love this guy. He comes in, he buys like my little ends and little bits, and just you know gets rid of anything. You know, he has so many good stories. He was in a concentration camp. Yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, what a life this guy's had. Yeah, maybe that was how he got out of it after the Second World War. He's like, I was in the camps too. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel the struggle. <laughs> yeah. It's like you were in one of those ritzy Australian concentration <laughs> camps, huh? like Australian. building a sailboat. <laughs> The fuck out! How heavily watched were these guys building a sailboat? Ah, uh, you give them something to do, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them think. Let them think they can get out. But... What's that teens are filling up to? <laughs> <laughs> it's a boat. Looks like he's building a boat or something down there. Yeah. Eh, fuck him. <laughs> yeah. I think he's gonna fuck it. Eh, fuck it. <laughs> but, but yeah, so like, it's 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 like this dude is is. He's German at a time when it's not popular. Yes. Mm, yeah. And then he does one of the most unpopular things a person can do, which is desecrating the dead. I guess the, not, though. In the forties, in the forties, if she had been a white woman, and yes. if he had not been white, and if he had not been white, yeah, I mean, what would they? It's have in done these to him? scenarios in where Florida. you know where, where that the where, um. Where prejudice and 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 privilege comes in is in these scenarios mm-hmm. where if it was somebody else of a different color race, you know they would have been mayhem lynched pu- mayhem. F- figuratively and literally. You know, it's in these types of scenarios. Like, oh yeah, no, that's a hundred percent. Yeah, the, like, the there you, there's an example. There's right racism. There. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can't tell me that's not racist. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Completely. Um, Jesus Christ. Yeah. And like, <laughs> I mean. <sighs> The discovery that your sister has... Uh, you've been probably going to the grave. She's 100% not there. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> and and she, meanwhile, she's getting fucked. Yeah, she's getting... What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> My sister still gets more My ass sister, than I do. <laughs> he's a, a, a nice doctor. <laughs> why can't, you be, a, more, why can't a, you be more like your sister Maria? <laughs> yeah. she's, got she's got a nice doctor. <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> Dude, for real, she, she nagged... She nabbed a doctor after death. Wow, yeah, that's not easy. That is something. That really is something. I like. I and I, I just. I want to hear from from the family so much. The daughters and and the wife. I just want to hear from them and just be like, so, your last name. You're just going around towns with your last name being Tanzler, all of you, and right. And that name is synonymous with one thing. <laughs> well, two things: organs. <laughs> yeah, and organs. Organs and organs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what were what were his songs? Like uh, that's yeah. Oh, there's more pictures, dude. It's fucking gross. Oh, what the, uh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, the bottom one. Oh, that's so, life, so we, we have a real picture of yeah, her. Yeah, she's a tall, yeah, that's a real one. She's and a, then she's a good looking lady. Yeah. Oh, he kept her teeth. Well, I mean, the teeth don't go away. Oh yeah. God, God. Well, not God, in those God. conditions anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Bet he wasn't a dentist. <laughs> Man, and if you look at Tanzler too, he looks like Carl Tanzler. He that's what that guy oh, looks God. like. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks like Freud or something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I um, mean, speaking of, uh, yeah, yeah. What I like, he was probably chopping it up. Oh. Yeah, probably. He was probably all chopped up. Ah, oh, what? What if he like, couldn't get it up with uh, his dead wife? Right? He couldn't get it up unless it was a paper tube. What? <laughs> what do you mean? He's talking shit to her. Yeah, he's all embarrassed. Your <laughs> it's your fault. You smell like shit. Yeah, you don't even move around. You got a belly full of rags. You're sick. You're gross, pig. <laughs> your vagina is simply a nightmare. <laughs> what is it made of paper? <laughs> it's fucking haunted vagina. It smells <laughs> like formaldehyde and plaster of Paris. It's gross. Oh God! But uh, it makes me think, though, like. Is this not the future of VR? <laughs> Where well, it's yeah. like your 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 loved one dies, but you had them spend three hours in a simulator oh, fucking. Dude. Five, so yeah. now five, you five can... years we're all having sex with Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. In yeah. person. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. And she's got <laughs> coat hangers in her. <laughs> you very point. But that's the thing. That's the thing. It's just I mean, imagine you're talking about plaster. You're talking about wire. You're yeah. talking about coat hangers. You're talking about perfume. You're talking about chloroform. You're talking about disinfectants. You're talking about silk scarves. You're talking about rags and guts. You're talking about paper tube vaginas. Like, 
this is a project that requires a lot of work, and you can't you can't look for help. No, 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 there's no, no, no YouTube no. tutorials there's on no YouTube. reanimating <laughs> your, uh, <laughs> your, your dug, patient, your dug up non girlfriend. Yeah, there's what's the autocomplete on his Google search? <laughs> How to remake her? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's anal safe with a corpse. <laughs> He's a tinker. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, I guess I think about it. Uh, L.A. Confidential is kind of a little thing. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, 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 it is such a project, and it it it, it would be like a full time fucking thing because because well, rotting yeah. rotting doesn't stop. No, you know. Uh, yeah, the yeah, that's true. Stop. Can't stop the rot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the rot. The rot don't stop. <laughs> can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, the rot. can't stop the rot. <laughs> And then the, you're like, oh, my fucking plaster's starting to crack. You know, the wires are rusting. Yeah, I can see yeah. the wires. You know. Are you, have you, have you, <laughs> it looks fake. I can see the wires. Are, are you eating enough? I can see the wires. Yeah. Here's some the, soup. It's like a fucking possum in her back. <laughs> Did you gain weight? <laughs> no, it's just a raccoon. It's just, it's just, a, it's a raccoon rummaging around inside of her. Wow, you're so lively today. What's up? What's up, Maria? <laughs> What, what's gotten into you? Oh, 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 uh, oh, oh, right. oh, oh awesome. <laughs> what's gotten into you? <laughs> oh, you're, you're more alive than ever. <laughs> wow. What's wrong with your ass? Thought, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, what's eating you, Maria? I thought some, some, uh, <laughs> some corpse love would be good for Halloween on the show. You know? yeah, 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 corpse love, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. You know, very, I mean... very good Halloween episode, John. I'm yeah, very, I don't, very I, I, pleased. I, I I'm spooked. I don't know um, a I'm lot about uh, such an extensively detailed necrophilia case. You know, yeah, it, uh, I'm, I'm sure if we did any research, we'd find. Well, I mean, there's like plenty. This, there's like the serial killer <laughs> yeah, thing, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, but this was not about murder. Right. This is about love, and it's very. You yeah. know, you've got the the kind of Norman Bates thing to it. Right, yeah, but it's not so much of assuming the identity; it's getting inside the person, but keeping the <laughs> keeping your the object of your obsession and infatuation there beyond its time. Oh yeah, yeah. and if anything, it's like it's 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 so not about murder; it's about the opposite because it's about it's about like resurrection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah, he's the monster in Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Actually, yeah, Frankenstein fucked his monster. Yeah. It's, Different story. Yeah, it's it really, is. It is. You think he put like little bolts on her neck just to like? <laughs> it's 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 festive. It's Halloween. <laughs> I, I want... mean, yeah. Do you think he w- he would wonder about some of that shit? Like, yo, what he, if there's I... no way he didn't try. Yeah. yeah. There's no way he did not try. I mean, like, he probably he like wasn't to do, yeah. like. I don't know what the infrastructure was like in Florida in 19... oh this is post World War Two, right? Well, uh, no, no, it's pre World War, right, no, right, right, right on the dawn of World War Two. So basically, he yeah. he probably had some electricity. And maybe or her muscle, sure. she would twitch or yeah, something. Yeah, he might have juiced her up. I like, I like to think about... Um, he definitely juiced you know, her up. You know, like when, That's what the wire hangers are for. When people uh-huh, yeah. uh, would get Jesus like... Fuck. Like him him updating her on new shit. Like, <laughs> He's just telling yeah, this, is a, this is a television set. Isn't this cool? <laughs> Check it out, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's like Lars and the real girl. Like he sits her up to watch fucking the honeymooners with him. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, I, love, I love this one. Aha, uh-huh, Jackie Gleason, he's so funny. You know this is I mean? your favorite episode. He's going to eat your frozen dinner. <laughs> like, I, I, like, besides the, like, the, uh, trying to resurrect her through like electricity and stuff like that, it's just, it's fascinating to think of what other harebrained shit he was cooking up. Oh. You know? Um, <laughs> he, at the supermarket, he's buying a meal for two, and you're like, that's not good. Yeah. yeah. There's, shouldn't, there's no two in this equation. Yeah. Yikes. Very... Very yikes, very. but also very, very nice. It is quite nice. It and is. you know what? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, not yeah. sorry in the least. You know, no. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It happened to a nice lady. I am. I am. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I mean, like, I, I also believe that, like, you know, like, there's, there's no sanctity of a grave. I believe it's all bullshit after you die or whatever, but. The importance of cremation, I believe. You know, like, I, I don't, I don't think there's yeah, like. Yeah, use that land for agriculture. Yeah, yeah I don't, like, and these coffins preserving a body that should just rot it's it's all ridiculous in my opinion sure uh but it it mattered to her family right so that's why it's wrong yes. you know what i mean yeah um plus with the mausoleum the whole family can get in there when they die right <laughs> right right yeah like it's prime real estate dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah do you think they did do you think they're like hey can we still use that no there's one there's one extra space now <laughs> maybe her sister would like room <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
But yeah, that's it. I, uh, it's a great I, story, John. I thought you guys would like that. Yes, I love it. That was great. It's creepy as fuck. I'm going to look way more into this and see what kind of nasty pictures I can see of him, like, putting, like, cue ball, like, <laughs> pool cue yeah, ball. There's that head. one, there's that one picture where someone's, there's P- hands putting, in or putting pulling in out eye. an eye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he, puts shit, he puts shit in to, uh, to fill out the eyes. Do you think um, he, like, made him ever googly for a Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow, you're such a, you're so silly. Do <laughs> <laughs> you, you think he put it on the porch for Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he, nor- yeah, he, he put a pumpkin baster. full of candy in her hands. <laughs> Take oh. one only. <laughs> yeah. He was crouching behind her. Yeah, just, pop it up. Yeah, pop it up. Yeah. You do too, baby Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> You're scaring my wife. I see you. <laughs> um, yeah, when I die, can you cremate me so no one can fuck me? Uh, can we yeah. fuck you first? Uh, well, I'm dead, so. Yeah. I, um, <laughs> I have two conditions. I really like the thing I tell you about where it's... um. They they take your ashes and they press them into a vinyl record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that would be that's really cool. cool. That's yeah. a cool one. But what does yeah. it play? Well, your, your, your last you, your last who's screams. Dick is this? You, I want to know who's. Dick yeah, is exactly. Who's dick is this? It, it's uh, it's uh, Nina Cherry on one side. Dude, and fuck who, yeah. Whose dick is this on the other? Actually, no. It's just all the Ramones jingles. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it is on mine. It's just a piss grave. You know, yeah, my uh, mine is ju- just the sound of the piss beer pouring into the cup <laughs> on loop. It's a, and it's a locked, it's locked, a locked group. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It never ends. Yeah. <laughs> God. This, this fucking piss never gets full. The sound of my soul. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it, fellas. Um, happy was, Halloween, everybody. Yeah. That was great, John. Thank, Thank you, you. Happy Thank Halloween. You. Happy Halloween. Uh, we love you guys. Uh, tell people about the show. We love you. Please uh, tell people about the show. That is all we want for Halloween. Yes. Yeah, I got a Patreon about destroying New York City coming out. Hell yes, yeah. Yes, that's going to be super, super fun. Chant oh. down Babylon. Uh, I'm going to put that Mickey Mantle blowjob PDF of... Uh, yeah, yeah. we uh, we got a lot yes. of uh, feedback from the last Patreon too, um, where we talked about comic books. Really? Oh, yeah, a lot of great. people were. Uh, we just nerded out about like yeah, comic horror, stories, horror movies, and graphic and, novels, yeah. and horror movies, and um, we were supposed to talk about porn. We were going to yeah, talk about yeah, we old didn't porn. even get to the porn. Oh, it's crazy. Um, but a lot of people hit us back with uh, a lot of like, you you should read this and you should read this. Well, and we'll talk really about cool. it on the Patreon. Yeah. We will. And uh, everybody, uh, just so you know, our uh, favorite <laughs> fan and listener, Taya in New York, she was the one that gave me. The uh, story of Dr. Carl Tanzler. So shout out to Taya. We love you guys. Good night, everybody. I'm John Fahey. I'm Aaron Pita. I'm Good night.